Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Software Inc. And welcome back to the Slapple Corporation. I hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back. Things are going pretty well, I have to say. Currently sitting on 17.6 million pounds. And oh boy, did we have an interesting couple of previous episodes. We made so much money. We made so much money. And... I'm not complaining. I am definitely not complaining. Today, I think our goal is going to be to release Tripe Engine and Slap 2, as well as potentially expanding our support team just to make sure that we can actually, well, support everything. So we're going to go ahead and lease out these two offices here, and I'm going to go ahead and select all of the furniture and duplicate all of the furniture in the two offices just across the hall. Because what I want to go ahead and do is, like I said, just expand the support team to have 20 people rather than the current 10. And what that'll do is hopefully give us a spot where all of our support tickets are getting covered. So let's go ahead and set that to support and let's go to hire employees. Let's go to programmer, system, low, uh, low salary and begin looking. And let's go to support team rather than core. And then if we sort by compatibility, we're going to hire everybody that's just great or good. So that was two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now the support team should have 20 people on it, which it absolutely does. And what we can go ahead and do as well is actually lease out this room and switch it to be a support team, but limit it so that it's just for support team leaders. And then I think what we'll do is just grab all the furniture in my office, duplicate all of that, and put it into this office just here. The difference, of course, is that I kind of don't want everything in here being uh, orange. So we're going to get rid of some of the furniture. Just because it's my stuff that's going to be orange. It's not the support team that's going to have the orange stuff. So support team can have, like, maybe blue. I think we'll go for like a, a kind of blue on the support team stuff. We probably also need to make sure that these items aren't assigned to me. So we'll do that just there. And we'll go ahead and change all of the orange parts to be apparently that color. That color right there. So that sort of blue color. And that'll just make things look kind of, uh, kind of interesting. So there we go. Support team leader can work out of that office. Let's just go ahead and make sure that both offices have the same... Uh, interior decor in terms of the white walls and the dark floors. Did I seriously move all of the stuff? Rather, oh god. Okay, so let's just reselect everything in here. And then I must have moved it rather than duplicating it. Which is ever so slightly embarrassing. Uh, so let's go ahead and just grab the orange color off of this, which is that color. And set everything that should be orange back to orange. I can't believe I did that. I cannot believe I managed to do that. That's a bit of a mess up on my part, but there we go. We've got that done. So let's go ahead and select me and then reassign this stuff to me. So there we go. I can get by to work. Support team can get a leader into that space. So what we'll do is go ahead and get a leader. We'll go for high salary. And we'll spend a lot looking for them. Let's go for support team. Great compatibility is going to be you, Harriet Crawford. Welcome. And let's go ahead and say that Harriet Crawford is going to need to work in, uh, let's see here, support employees. Harriet Crawford, you are going to be the team leader. So congratulations, Ms. Crawford. Welcome to your new job in the support team. And I do believe that uh, having 20 people in that job should get all of these support. Yeah, look how quick those tickets are going down in the top right there. That is absolutely what we want to see. That's going to keep customer satisfaction nice and high with everything that we are releasing. And it means that I can focus on Slap 2 and the Tripe engine. So Tripe Engine needs 34 and 9.5. It's nearly there. Slap 2 needs 23. Well, let's say 24 and 2, which is actually not as close to being there as I'd like it to be. What I would like to do, though, is outsource reviews on the Tripe Engine and outsource reviews on Slap 2. 
because I want to see what the competition generally thinks of both of them. So Slap 2 is currently a 3.1. Keeping in mind, I believe the original Slap was almost a 4. I don't, need, I don't think it was even a 4. And then if we have a look here, it seems that Tripe Engine is currently a 4. So that's not so bad. That is, that is definitely, definitely not so bad. Can I, can I edit this area out here? Is that a thing I can do? Can I place stuff out there? No. Okay, so we don't actually own that space. And that is apparently a meeting space. That's unfortunate. It would be nice if there was like... It'd be nice if we could... You know, get a bigger space in here for some meetings, but... I don't think that's going to be happening, unfortunately. I think the only way we're actually going to manage to... Get some meeting space is to build our own facility. Which isn't impossible. I mean, we're sitting on 23 million pounds. We just got 2.2 million last month on Slap alone. So it is not impossible. But honestly, I think my goal here is... And, and I mean this. I think my goal is genuinely just to sort of buy out this building. And see how that goes for us. So what I'm going to go ahead and actually do here is get a couple of pallets into this room which might seem a little bit weird, but I want to get a couple of pallets in there. I would love to get another one there, but that's just not going to happen, is it? Yeah, that's not going to happen. So, a couple of pallets there is going to have to do, I suppose. And I think we'll just do like a, we'll do like a fluorescent lamp, say there and there. And then I want to get some printers. I, I genuinely just want to get like a large product printer, uh there and I guess in the corner over there as well so a couple of large printers and we can at least print some of our own products not a lot of them but we can print some which well it's better than none I guess is uh, is the way we can look at that so yeah we'll print some of our own products that's totally fine and totally makes sense when we're working out of a and a, a basically an apartment building. That's that is basically what this is. It is basically an apartment building. But I'm kind of okay with that. Let's also get the floors to match in all of the offices there, just so it looks the part. We could probably do with another another lounge area. We could totally get a canteen, a small canteen into one of these rooms. But we have like 33 employees, so I don't think we'd get a big enough canteen, unfortunately. I am thinking, though, we could probably do with another printing room. So let's go ahead and get that done. We'll throw another printing room just into here. We'll get another large printer there and just into that spot as well. So I'll be curious to see just how much we can actually print with what we have here. I'm hoping it'll be a decent amount. I am, I am really hoping it'll be a decent amount, but I'm not going to hold my breath because I, uh, I'm not entirely convinced it'll actually be that much. But we'll see. We will totally see. Let's go and have a little look. We do want to be printing some copies of Mobile Quest, I think, so start printing. We can actually do 192,000 a month. That's not bad. That is, that is not bad. Let's have a maximum of 50,000 units. And let's say that for slap, we'll have a maximum of 100,000. So we'll do that. And we'll print if there's ever less than those numbers, which we are going to be doing, which does mean we need to hire some couriers. So we'll hire couriers to come in at, let's say, let's say 4 p.m., let's say 5. They can come in at 1, leave at 5. Or maybe they come in at the end of the work. No, let's say they come in at 12, leave at 4. So that'll be fine. We'll let the couriers come in and do their thing. They can grab things. It should mean that we need to print less or order less ourselves, which seems like a pretty good idea to me. So let's go ahead. You guys are in the support team. That's fine. We'll give them their demands. I do want to go to the support team real quick, though, because I need to have you actually trained. Actually, not you. We need you to actually be educated in HR management so you can handle their demands and their complaints. So we'll get that done. Uh, the couriers will be coming in shortly to pick up the 
stuff that we have here. And apparently we just needed one career as well, which is pretty neat. So there we go. That will absolutely do the job there. We actually have got some printing going, which I'm pretty happy about. I am, I am pretty happy about that. That's going to keep things going very well for us. Uh, so what else could we do up here, I guess? That is, that is kind of the question. We have printing, we have support. We do only have one team, but I don't think we need a second development team until we move out of this building. I don't, I don't think I want a second development team. I do, of course, have the option of moving the entire core team to the top floor, because what we could do is make like a reception area down here, have another, you know, lounge down here, and then maybe have an actual like dedicated server room down here as well. That might not actually be a terrible idea. And it would at that point give us almost the entire building. And what we could even do is have five rooms for, sorry, four rooms for four different purposes. So programmers, designers, artists, marketing. Or programmer, programmer, designer, artist, marketing, office. So a couple of marketing people in this tiny little room here or marketing spread out between those two rooms. That's definitely a thing we could do. But I think what we'll do is, at least for the time being, just hold off a little bit. Or we could just spread the core team out a little bit more. That is an option as well. So I think since we have some stuff on this floor already, let's buy these two spaces. And let's grab all of the furniture in here. And we'll go ahead and duplicate all of that, moving it into that space. We'll grab the furniture in here and duplicate that into this space. And of course, get the rooms to actually look the part. So let's get the floors done there. And let's do the same in these spaces too. So the floor needs to be like that. And these rooms are actually going to be a little bit darker just because they're sort of like warehouse-ish. So there we go. So these are going to be more core team rooms as far as I'm concerned. So switch those to core team, bringing in potentially 10 more employees. So let's have a look. Core team currently needs... I feel like art isn't a huge problem, but I feel like two more artists wouldn't hurt. So maybe two more artists and four more designers, four more programmers. Or three artists, three designers, four programmers. Three artists, three designers, three programmers, and a marketer, even? I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we'll do. Let's bring in a marketer with a high salary. Begin looking, core team. Uh, lowest salary first, but we want a great. That's going to be... Alice Hamilton. Congratulations. Let's start looking for everything else then. So, programmer, what do we need? What do we need? I think audio, 3D, audio, 3D, and 2D, possibly. That's going to be fun to do. So, audio first. And let's see here. You're great, so I guess we'll go for you. Since you're a little younger, you'll be with us for a bit longer. We could go for skill, obviously, but I'd, I'd rather go for the greats here. Um, yes, yeah, so Carrie Bowman, or Bowman, we'll go for Bowman. Carrie Bowman is going to be the audio programmer, which is good. Then we're going to need another programmer to do 2D. And exactly the same setup here. Let's go for some greats. 45 years old, Stefan Fisher. Congratulations. And then I believe 3D was the next one. So let's have a little look. 3D, same situation. Begin looking. Let's look at the greats. We actually have you, four star, 47, Riley, Ashley. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate anyone with two first names as their name. So we need six more people. Let's do the designers. Where does the core team like design? Audio, system, and 2D. Okay, so we'll start with system, and then audio and 2D after that. So you will do, 
So was that? That was system, right? We did system, then 2D, then audio. 46 years old, welcome. And finally, the audio. So let's see here. You will do Elvis Tyler. Again, technically two first names. I appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Uh, so where do we like art? That's the question. We actually don't, which is nice. So 2D, 3D audio in terms of art. We kind of don't like it, which is nice. So we'll just do everything. We'll start with 2D. And we'll go for you, Glenda Stevens. It is nice that this team isn't lacking in art. That's that's a bit of a change. Uh, so 2D, audio, same situation. Let's go for you, I suppose, Isabel Andrews. And then the final one, of course, 3D. Who have we got? 45 years old, Irwin Bridges. That'll do. Okay. So that should nicely improve the core team, even if they are working across two floors at this point. But that should absolutely make everything a little bit easier. It should. There's no guarantees, but it should. Uh, so yeah, these guys seem to be working up here at this point. Everything does seem like it's moving a little bit faster. Can we get another outsourced review of Slap 2, please? And also Tripe Engine. Because I want to see where we're at with those. So Slap 2 is at 4.8 right now. And Tripe Engine is going to be on a 4.2. Okay. Not bad. Definitely not bad. Apparently, did our server fail? No, it doesn't have the bandwidth. Right. That is a thing I think we need to do. We need to improve our servers. So what if we grab one of these and turn it into a server room? Even though it has like these beautiful big windows, I think it needs to be a server room. Otherwise, we're going to have some problems. And I don't think the shelf server is going to cut it. I also, like, I still don't know if this big server rack, I think it is a modded thing. I have no idea. I know that this one exists with 10 gigabytes per second. I think we're just going to go with this one because this is 50 gigabytes per second. That's a bit much. So go with this one. It's, it's five or is it gigabits? It might be gigabits. Either way, we're going to get a bunch of these. That's... Such a waste of a, a beautiful room, but whatever. Go ahead and connect that all together. And let's have a little look at our servers. So, can we move you and you to server zero, please? And then rename server zero to... I don't know, the, the main server, I guess. Dev server. Let's just do hosting server for now. So that'll be our hosting server. Maybe the shelf server is where we can do all of our content management. Or our, not the content management, source control management. That might be an idea. Source control management on the little shelf server in here does not seem like a, does not seem like a bad thing. I wouldn't want to work next to it. That's all I'm going to say, but that, that seems like a, a decent place for it. We could do a full server rack in there as well. I, you know what? I like that. I actually really like the idea of having like a full server rack in there. Uh, white supports on it, then like dark casing for the servers themselves. That looks the part to me. So select all of those, connect them together. And I believe that is, yeah, that's a little bit better. So let's rename that to uh, SCM server. So there we go. A source control management is that little corner right there. Then our main servers are up here. I think that's pretty good. I think that'll absolutely work. Now, I guess at this point, we need to... Uh, we need to make a decision. Let's let's do some internal looks at uh, Slap 2. Because here's the thing with it, right? Slap 2 is technically of a higher quality right now than I believe the original Slap was. And I think we're... We're looking at re uh, releasing Slap 2 and a lot of things. Fortunately, the X3 is quite a, way, quite a ways away. Um, the next phone operating system is actually quite a few years away. So we're fine on that front. 
Uh, let's also end this and have a look. So internally, it's a 5.4. I think, honestly, I, I feel like we're in a situation here where Slap 2 does have more features than the first one, I think. Yeah, it does. Slap 2 does have more features. It is technically of a higher quality in terms of reviews. So I think we might just have to push it into beta. And maybe try releasing it in January of 2010. That might be the way to go. Uh, also, I want to have a quick look at my core team here. Because I realize... Oh, everybody is assigned to do stuff based on what they can do. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. We have a few people in class at the moment. All getting educated in what they need to be educated in. So that's, that's totally fine. Um... Let's promote Slap 2 into beta. And let's say the release date is going to be January 2010. That gives us eight months. That gives us eight months. And, you know, in one day we have... I think we're going to hit 100 bugs in one day. Yep. So in one day, 100 bugs gone. So that's, that's progress is what that is. As for the Tripe engine, I mean... I don't even know. What's the consumer reach on this? 965,000 people. That's actually good. It started development almost, well, over five years ago. Four years ago at this point. Okay. Since it's been in development so long, I think we need to push this into beta as well. And I think what we're going to say is it is also going to release in January of 2010. So January 2010 is going to be a huge month for this company. Not necessarily because we're going to be seeing, you know, huge amounts of uh, profits. Because we might not. There is every possibility that we will not see huge profits. There is every possibility that what's going to happen is Slap 2 and Tripe Engine are going to fail. But Tripe Engine has been in development so long that I don't think... It's worth keeping it in development. And then Slap 2 has a good amount of consumer reach. It is going on to three operating systems. Uh, the current SCM for it is actually... Can I change the SCM? Current SCM is going to be SCM server. And same with the Tripe engine. So we'll keep source control management on source control management. But... Hello. So the support team is wanting... Okay, yeah, that's 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 fine. Accept all and close. Has the support team leader come back yet? Employees leader uh, vacation. Okay, so if we have a quick look here. I assume, considering they're all set to be programmers, that they are, in fact, getting HR managed. Yes, they are. Okay. Uh, let's put them in their best roles. And let's say that we want 20 programmers at any one time. And the preferred age is going to be that. Specializations, any of them, that's fine. Salaries can be medium on that. Education level is fine. Cooldown is one, but we'll have five at any one time getting educated for, let's say, three months. So we'll see how that works out. I'm also thinking what I'm going to do is say that the vacation range for these guys is going to be, I'm going to say 12 months. Because what I want to do is say that, yeah, I'm going to say 12 months because what that means, I think, is that there will be a rain, like not everybody's going on vacation at the same time, basically. It means that there's always going to be people in for support, which I think is going to be important. I do think that's going to be an important thing to do. Also, 300 and almost 350 bugs down here. That's kind of nuts. We need IT support. One of the servers has gone down. That's not good. Let's call IT support, call cleaning, and call maintenance anyway, just in case. And we'll see how that works out. There we go. So that's all been fixed down here. That's good. I think at this point, we actually need IT support again. Interesting. Call IT support. And let's look at marketing slap two and marketing everything. So market that. Market the tripe engine. And 
we could probably put out a press build next month. Possibly. We'll see what happens. These press releases aren't going to be done this month, so that's fine. Uh, apparently, we still have maintenance or IT support or someone in here. There we go. Uh, so you guys can all do your thing. The press releases can get written up this month. We are still making money like crazy. We're currently sitting on 37 million pounds. So we'll get these written up any second. It's going to be next month, apparently. That's fine. We are cutting it a little bit fine on this. I'm going to be honest. Can we increase the priority of that one, please, for Tripe Engine? And release. And then increase the priority of this one as well. And release. Right. So we have a couple of press releases out. So Tripe Engine is... It's cutting edge. Sounds great. Slap 2 is cutting edge. It's got our attention. Okay. That's good. So market these with some press builds. There's 100,000 followers on Slap 2. Okay. That's actually a big deal. That is actually a really big deal. Let's get some hype going on these as well to keep those followers. Uh, so market hype. Yes. And let's see if we can just keep the hype as a top priority there. So keep that hype up there. We have not got a lot of time to finish these. So we'll see. I'm curious to see what the press build is going to do. 125,000 people currently following Slap 2. That's going to go to 156,000 people and just over 1,000 for Tripe Engine. That's fine. That is totally fine. Uh, the beta review. Need to try harder, but it has all the new features. Okay. Uh, Slap 2 is looking okay as well. Right. Well, that's good. That's good. Number of followers for Slap 2 is increasing pretty rapidly. We actually lost money last month. Interesting. Mobile Quest seems to have stopped making money, and Slap is not really making money either. Is there anything to port it to before the sequel comes out? There actually is. Doorface. Okay, you know what? We are not going to do that. As for Mobile Quest, I doubt there's anything. Yeah, so Mobile Quest is done at this point, I believe. I believe Mobile Quest is pretty much going to be done. Uh, that's fine. We're not porting the original Slap because my idea is that we'll just immediately port Slap 2 to the new operating system. That's what I think we'll do. So let's see here. Yeah, Slap's done money. We are now losing money. That's not an issue. Let's stop marketing that. And both of these need to go out this month. So release Slap 2. Start a marketing campaign. And let's say 10,000 for the marketing of Slap 2. We're going to order 250,000 copies. No, you know what? 350,000 copies for Slap 2. We'll move that up to here. And we'll keep an eye on the support. Tripe Engine, similar story. We'll release it. We'll start marketing for 7,500. Not quite as much. And we'll order 100,000 copies. And that should be fine. So we are not developing any, anything at this point, which is fine. We can minimize all of those. We do have unsupported processes, though, so that's going to be slap two. We are going to redelegate it to the hosting server. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see how those end up selling. We can start working in... Actually, no, we don't want to start working in new things. Tripe Engine needs immediately ported to Doorface X2... Next stop OS and, you know, get that done. Uh, Slap 2 needs immediately ported to Doorface as well. And make that the priority. And then follow that with Tripe. So get those ported across so that on day one, well, in month one, you can immediately get it on the new operating systems. And now that that's done... We can go ahead and... There's actually some research to be done here, which is interesting. That's going to be on VR. 
Oh, wouldn't it be great if Slapple manages to get hold of VR? Absolutely research that. Absolutely research VR. And then let's start working on something else. So let's start working in a game. Mobile Quest 2. It is time to start working in Mobile Quest 2. Now that we have our own game engine. So... Yeah, Tripe Engine. I, I couldn't see the name there. I got really confused. So we'll use the Tripe Engine. And we want to put that on these systems. Maybe not the X. Maybe not the X. And let's see what we can do here. So in terms of editors, we're going to use that one. In terms of audio, we'll use that one. We'll have physics. We'll have dialogue this time. We are not going to do multiplayer. It's a, it's it's an RPG. We'll not do that. We'll not do mod support. It could... You know what? It's an MMO. It's an MMO on your phone. That's what it is. It's going to have 3D graphics. Cutscenes. Motion capture. This is going to be the best mobile game that's ever existed. Like, this is straight up looking to be like the... You know what? Let's not do mocap. Interestingly, that mocap takes out programmers and adds artists. Actually, that makes sense, doesn't it? Otherwise, the programmers could be potentially, like, hand-doing the animations. Okay. Let's do motion capture. Mobile Quest 2, it is the most ambitious mobile game to ever exist.